Hey YouTube, Elite Legionario here, and today I'm bringing you a 3 vs 3 battle on the Prophet Marshes. And this was a extremely fun battle, and I must say my two allies were fantastic allies. Um, probably some of the best allies I've had to work with. We worked together so well, and um, it was such a good game, but I won't spoil too much. Uh, as you can see, this is an extremely Roman dominant game with four out of the six factions being Rome. Now, I'm going to pause it here, guys, so I can outline the armies because it gets into the action very quickly. Uh, I'm playing as the Thracians, as you can see. I have six units of gold, gold, bastane, four units of um, gold attack, um, Falksmen. Uh, I think I have about six units of four or five, I think it might be five units, five or six units of gold tech archers and a uh, militia hoplite as a peeler screen. So that's me. Um, uh, my ally has gone with a very traditional Roman army, which is probably the only complaint I would have had about the fact this game every Roman player urban spammed pretty much, and that just, I hate that, eh? Um, as you know, he has. Um, there's no cavalry, so he's got uh, five units of gold, gold, urban cohort. He's also got five units of, so six units of gold, gold, urban cohort, rather. And he's got four units of non-upgraded Praetorian cohort, and three units of non-upgraded Triarii. Um, uh, the Cavalus of the Black Clan, I think it is, um, playing as, is playing as Scythia, and he was um, really good to play with, and he was really friendly. Um, his army consists of, um, I think it's six gold, gold uh, Scythian headhunters. He's got um, about six units of Archer Warband, uh, which look to be Skull Gold also. He's got two units of Chosen Archer Warband, two units of Axemen, and two units of um, Scythian Horse Archers. Um, so that was uh, nice. And our opponent's armies, as you can see, um, Bolo in 69, uh, he's got six units of um, Urban Cohort. Um, I'm only seeing one that's got up, gold gold upgrades, but that might be due to the simple fact that he's far away and I can't see them all. He's also got several units of Roman armor um, generals, I think it is. Yep, four of them, I think. Um, there'll be no match for these Scythian headhunters, although they do have two hit points, which is kind of useful for them. And this guy, uh, Pilchu, um, he's also playing as Rome, and he seems not to have urban spammed, and I was rather pleased with that, as I always am when I um, see people who don't do it, so good on him. Um, his army consists of a lot of legionnaires as well. Uh, he's got legionary first cohorts, Praetorian cohorts, legionary... I think he's got about six first cohorts and about six uh, or four rather Praetorian cohort and I think it's five or is it six Archer Auxilia and my opponent over here um, Constantine uh, his army is urban spammage as well um, he's got one two, three, four, five units of urban cohort. Um, I don't know why he has so many archers. I guess he figured he would, uh, not archer, um, auxilia. I guess he figured he's up against Scythia. Um, it's going to do, they'll be in a complete and utter baggage in this fight for him because I have no cavalry at all. Um, and I'll explain why. He has f uh, five units of auxilia. I mean, he's got, um, about five units of Archer Auxilia, no upgrades, and about five units of Triarii. So I'm certain he definitely thought he's going to be up against the Scythian with all those spearmen. Ten spear units. Um, but uh, aside from his urban cohort, his, his army's got a lot of weight behind it though, which will make it quite tough. Um, these urbans have got good upgrades, so they'll be a good match for me. And um, once he thumps in with these uh, units in behind the support, it'll be quite tough. But um, our battle plan was simple. Um, we wanted to draw them into the forest um, so that any cavalry they might have would be nullified. Plus, I fight better in the forest because I'm Thrace. And uh, the Scythian um, 
his battle plan, uh, his, uh, the, our plan for him was to um, skirmish in the open and weaken them, and then run towards the forest and draw them away. So, um, uh, my men are hidden here in the forest, and this is good because he doesn't quite know where I am, as you can see. So in a minute, I'm going to rush him in such a way that I'm going to catch him out of position. And I'm going to rush him right now. Um, and he's really out of position. He doesn't... Um, and we're going to just come thundering into one another. And I, um, I rush him in such a way that he cannot use his peeler at all. And that's just brilliant. Um, and... Uh, He's unable to use his peeler, which is fantastic. Um, and my best Thane would normally not be a match for Urban Cohort, but here in the forest, they are a match. I lose my general very fast, though, so I was a bit worried about that. Now, I'm going to send my Falcon around the flanks to um, batter him down. Um, and my archers are firing away at the sides of these Triarii. But at this point, um, we decided that the um, that the uh, my ally Potato here Potatoes um, will use his uh, army to outflank the Brutii army because he deployed so far away from the middle and the fact that the uh, Brutii is all out here by his own, we're going to gang up and make sure it works very quickly. But as you can see, um, it's a fairly even battle. Um, my best Dana are doing very good. This is where they excel in forests. So now I'm going to intercept these uh, urban, not, um, these Triarii. And um, it's clear to me by the design of the... Um, Brutio Roman army that he was after the um, Scythian because he got so 10 spear units which are useless to him in this fight. He needed, if he had more heavy infantry units I could have found this a lot harder. But uh, it's fairly even all along the line. Uh, my archers are doing a lot of damage though to his um, Triarii, uh, shooting them in the flanks and stuff because he's trying to use them to uh, ward off the um, SPQI Roman. But um, Constantine's Brutii army's fate is sealed. Um, and, and a nice manoeuvre, um, three of most of the heat hunting maidens of um, Decabalus come over to um, assist in the uh, total destruction of the um, Brutio players. So uh, we work together really well and this is what's vital to, um, to three, any, any team battles. Um, but the more players in the team, the more vital it becomes. Um, and we work together so well, that we, and we just do so well together on this battlefield. Um, over this side, uh, I managed to outflank and get behind, and now I'm going to start uh, curling up the um, right flank, or the left flank of the uh, Roman player, and his army breaks. Um, so I more or less didn't actually need much help at all there. And that's due, in fact, that I was in the forest. If I was out in the open, it would have been a different story. Um, we have to be careful though with the uh, Scythian player because um, we wanted to keep, keep the Scythian out in the, in the open to skirmish with them, to weaken them so, and then draw them into the forest so that we can beat them down. Um, because his cavalry will not do very good in the forest. So, um, that's the Brutio player, very much beaten. Um, but all three of us work together there. And now it's three against two. And uh, we're going to do pretty um, well here in a moment. Um, and the cool thing is, uh, the um, Scythian player Decabalus was able to bring his cavalry over because he had dealt with all the uh, cavalry that these two had. So he had no need to concern with um, his own protecting his own men from cavalry. So um, he'll do a lot of mopping up of the kills here, so they won't be coming back at any point. So as you can see, um, uh, I had 10 infantry units, the um, Brutii had, well Brutii had 20, well 15 infantry units and 5 archer units. So he had a lot more um, infantry than me as a whole. I, had, I think I had 6 uh, archer units actually and um, about 10 um, infantry units. So as you can see it's um, a fairly probably more Brutio bodies there but there's still a fair few of mine but as you can see I still got quite a lot of a decent clump of my infantry survived so um, we're doing pretty good now. So here these uh, horse archers are um, skirmishing here 
and um, now the plan's fairly straightforward. We're just going to surround the two of them, um, and uh, they're all in test two more or less. But all the root um, Julie I play are pill chewers, but it'll do them very little good. Um, because we're on our way, um, both of us, both me and Potatoes, who is the SPQR player, we're on our way. Um, and uh, these archers are getting um, shot up by these um, Scythians. And now he's bringing his main archer contingent. That's an enormous archer contingent. He, if, if you work it out, he has 10 missile units. Um, this is Scythian power. Uh, we just need to be careful with it. Um, He's, these Romans are ill-equipped to handle him because um, they have no cavalry units. If there were more cavalry units, um, you need to be careful. But uh, we're both we're the, we were really well balanced because he had obviously lots of archers and cavalry. We had lots of infantry, so we were balanced and it worked out really well. And um, these arch frogs here, very clumped together, very exposed. These headhunters are going to have a field day. So let's just sit and enjoy this uh, devastation to these Roman units. And here he comes in. Um, brilliant piece of work from Decavalus in this game. Um, he timed his attacks well. He waited for us. We talked to each other and we fought. Um, there's been many a time when I've done uh, team battles and my allies do not communicate with me and I feel like, like, I just, it's so aggravating because you have to work together and if you can't work, you know, if you don't time your strikes and assist one another, then you're not going to win, particularly against the player who's actually using his brain. So here he withdraws because this Roman is, um, turned to face him, but now, um, his backs are turned and I'm sure the Cabalists will take advantage of it in a moment. Um, anyway, like I said, me and Potatoes are on the way, and um, now the Romans going after um, after the heat hunting maidens, and it's not a very good idea. Um, but they're, they're just not. There's nothing these uh, Romans can really do because they've got no cavalry to hunt down these archers. Um, and they can't run after these archers either because they won't be able to catch them. So, um, with all their power, urban cohorts can't really assist them here. And that's, you know, without... And this is where, um, this is where good low money games are good because people will either put lots of money into their urbans or lots of money into their Praetorians and one, the other unit will, you know, one part of the army will suffer with lack of upgrades and they can be beaten. Um, so here he draws his archers, they're going to get a few peeler in their backs, but uh, not a big deal. He's got enough archers there to keep him going for a very long time. All the while, um, these horse archers were having a field day with these Romans. Um, and again, we're on our way, and I've, got, I've still got tons of arrows left as well, so we've got an enormous um, missile superi superiority. I have six like, missile units, he has tens. We have 16 missile units in our army, all up. Um, the only person, in the, the only Roman that had any missile units was the um, was the Julio player who had about five or six archer auxiliary, which had been decimated by these kid hunters. So um, we had an enormous superiority, and they have no way of running down our archers, so we can just blow them to pieces with missile fire. Um, So uh, I'm preparing to get my men in position. Um, and these guys are now facing. And um, these urban cohort, they can't do anything. They're just, there's just nothing they can do. Um, but uh, these horse archers, I guarantee you, they'll have a load of kills, as will these uh, heat hunting maidens who are arrayed against here. And he's formed up in a way that as soon as we engage, he's going to smash straight into the backs of the uh, the um, Julio player. Uh, and nothing he can do about that either. Um, and uh, he's the Potatoes has formed half his men here, men there, and men out here so he can engage these Scipio if they turn around. Um, but as you can see, these Scipio are receiving uh, absolute hail of arrows. And uh, there's just nothing they can do. 
not against that many arrows and they can't catch these um, Scythians, they just can't catch them. Um, and this is where they needed cavalry but at the same time um, they need to be careful as heat hunters. So uh, we actually had a really good setup going. Um, and it's always good to beat Rome like this. Um, people always bring Rome and they think urban cohort, I'm invincible. And then you just destroy them and it's so much fun. So here a few of these um, legionary cohort, first cohorts come in. With the lack of upgrades, again, with players who are not upgrading their armies. Um, I'm not saying you can't win with um, non-upgraded armies, but it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. So these Triarii fight these Praetorian cohort. Not sure that was such a bad idea on the allies part. I didn't realise he had done that. But he's got enough urban cohort and Praetorian cohort to make a big deal, big difference of it. So um, my tired um, Bistana having a bit of trouble with these um, first cohorts, but they're still doing good. Upgrade difference and everything. But I'm bringing them more units to assist here, and I got Archer Fire going. But uh, here. Um, these Triarii are actually not doing very well, so um, in a moment um, uh, Decabalus will no doubt assist in that department. Um, he was sort of prowling the battlefields for opportunity. Um, I'm probably I'm need, probably in need of a bit of assistance in a moment because I've got some units that are challenging me. Um, but large missile fire is doing consider considerable damage and I've got more upgrades. But as you can see, the um, Roman Praetorians are not going to hold. Um, not in this case, they're not. And over here, just what's been happening, the uh, Romans been, the Scipio Roman Bolo 69 has been doing the absolute best he can to run around and try and catch these archers, at which point he's just steadily uh, withdrawn them away. Um, it's worked out brilliantly because he's... he's um, drawn the Scipio player away from the Julio player and the three of us have been able to gang up on this Julio army and destroy it. Um, he's also managed to uh, slink archers in a circular formation around the Roman player so no matter what direction the Roman goes in he's going to get a whole bunch of arrows in the backs of his men. So um, excellent use of uh, archers and missile units there by um, Decabalus of the Black Clan. But at the same time, he's withdrawn the Scipio player away from the Julio player, and they've got no support, and we can just work together and knock them um, out individually at our own leisure. And this is what um, really good um, teamwork is all about in this game. Um, it was just a distinct pleasure to do this battle. Um, I mean, I'm using Thrace against Rome. Not, a, not often a faction I use and um, because of good allies um, it's worked very well. So the um, Roman players are about to break completely and um, now these Scythians of Headhunters are coming to mop up the remainder of the Scipio Roman. So um, the mistake was by the Scipio and the um, Julii they separated their forces out too much and didn't stick together. Um, they might have been able to do some damage, they probably would have been able to destroy me because I was pretty depleted after my fight with the Brutii. But, um, there's still a few of my units not roaming the fields trying to get the kills. But as you can see, it has been a very clear massacre for us. So I'm just going to triple speed to the end, guys. It's just mopping up now. Um, 3 vs 3 battles are so much fun, I mean 4 vs 4 are absolutely awesome but um, very hard to get because of the, fact, the nature of you know, 4 players and connections and all that kind of thing but extremely fun, um, I love doing these big big big, big team battle games and big free for all games and stuff. Um, so here's the end guys and it's a heroic victory for us, I had 1,285 men, I got 1,436 killed and I had 606 men left, Potatoes he had 1,227 men, 393 kills and 1,089 left, he didn't really get a lot of chance to use his men um, but he was he provided the necessary support where it was needed and ensured that um, me and Decabalus could do very well. Decabalus uh, he had 1,237 men, he got 1,806 kills and he had 865 men remaining so he took the crown for kills there and um, was a close follower with about 400 short and these guys as you can see uh, apart from Constantine who fought me um, they didn't do very well at all uh, the others you know barely getting 200 and 300 uh, Pilchu had a massive army got very little kills um, 
just they didn't work together very well and it cost them. So as you can see, my Bastane, all them did good. Um, Bastane, uh, no match, urban cohort, pound to pound, but in the forest, it's a wee bit more, it's a bit of a different story. So I'm pretty pleased with the results on that part. Um, Militia Hoplites were meant to be a peeler shield. Um, they sort of got rushed there so much that they didn't get a chance to use their peeler anyway, so that was fine. Falksman did very well, and they managed to fling around the sides and did a lot of damage. My art just got a lot of kills as well. So um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, Thrace is, is not a faction I use very often because I find it pretty tough to win with them, but I quite like to win with those. It's always rewarding to win with those lesser factions. But um, anyway, there's a good game to Potato and to Cabalus. Great allies, really enjoyed that one. And um, also a good game to Bolo, Polchu and Constantine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3 versus 3. I know I did. Um, and I shall see you next time.